After you've converted your roof object to roof slabs, you may want to extend the overhang, which will create a varying plate height. Let's review how to do this. I'll pick the east side roof slab, and you can see that there are grips visible at the middle of the bottom edge. I'll pick the edge overhang grip, then I'll drag out and enter 3 feet 0 inches, then press the escape key. The plate height is clearly lower than the adjacent roof slabs. To clean up the corner, we'll use a trim option. I'll pick the south wall, then the arrow grip. I'll drag to the right and enter 6 feet 0 inches, and then press the escape key. I'll pick the roof slab, and from the roof slab tab, modify panel, I'll select the trim tool. At the select trimming object prompt, I'll pick the extended south wall. At the Specify Side to be Trimmed prompt, I'll pick outside and to the left of where the roof slab is. I'll press the Escape key. I'll pick the south wall and grip edit it back 6 feet 0 inches, then press the Escape key again. The last step would be to get the edges of the roof slabs to align. Again, selecting the modified roof slab, at the corner there is an edge overhang arrow grip. I'll pick it and drag it down to where it intersects the outside corner of the south roof slab and then press the escape key. I'll switch to the right view and we can better see that we've been able to extend the east roof slab using the edge overhang grip and still get the edges along the south to align.